Uh, my name is Dave Nielsen. I'm an original founder of ProLite International and the ProLite brand. Started in 1982. I guess it makes it a 40 year anniversary. My buddy came and told me, hey, Western Airlines is hiring. They're opening a base in Hawaii. I said, oh, okay. There was a group of us living on the North Shore that worked for Western Airlines. And this group, we lived on Kainui Road from Log Cabin down to what they call the Volcom House now. And the only issue with that was the ever dreaded baggage handlers. When we took our surfboards, we'd pack them in bubble wrap. We'd put them in boxes and just hope for the best. Uh, we, we got some ethafoam, we cut it in half, we got irons and we, we hollowed it out. We put Velcro straps on it. This was after making plywood coffins, we called them, that weighed a ton and we knew it would never work. But once we got to the light foam with the, that was hollowed out, we basically created a soft surfboard unknowingly. And the first travel bag was invented right there on the deck of my buddy's house at Off the Wall. Believe it or not, the first bags we made had fin slots because we just were so excited to make these bags and have these bags. You know, we started out with the foam and we put binding around it and fin slots with binding around it and no fabric. And it all just evolved like super quick. As long as we could think of the right product, we always knew we had the right materials. It was just the bottom line. But it's good to see ProLite still hold fast to that. We'd go on these trips to Fiji and to Tavarua and it was just like nervous time for me because anything would go wrong, it's, they look at me. We had a guy and he rode his motorcycle with his surfboard to Chile and surfed along the way and just living the dream out there. And we did use living the dream and we did use above and beyond as taglines because the, the invitation to live that lifestyle didn't need to be hampered by crummy equipment. Even today, you know, I'll see people on a surf trip or, or whatnot, and they'll, oh, you did ProLite, and I still have my ProLite. You know, it's this, it's that. I remember one time, you know, everybody was off to Fiji, and this guy came out and looked at me and said, you're not going to Fiji with these guys, are you? We got a lot of paperwork. We got to go over a lot of things I want to I want to implement with with the brand and this and that and I'm so I said yeah I'm actually am this is when we test all the product and and when I got back it was just spreadsheets and you know we want to do this we want to do that and so I was sort of like looking at a lifestyle crash and burn when it's passion it's okay to to write your last penny to the state board of equalization and when when you really want to buy foam or food but what isn't passion is when someone dictates something that has been through your veins, your heart, your soul. Things were that core then. It wasn't like we were, you know, Buzzy Trent and, and Greg Knoll in facing the first real big Waimea. But we were people who were at least in the band, you know, leading the charge. I guess I did, I just never liked to be, we're doing this to be industrial and make money. You know, we're doing this to surf, is what we're doing. This, this surf part of the surf industry is a dream and you have to keep living it. You just do. And if you don't, you may be in the wrong business. It just so happened that the, the, the surfboard travel bag, the first surfboard padded bags that we invented, that was, that was the ticket. It, that's what we were going to do next. And every one of those core things we love were, was replaced by another one that we love. ProLite now is in that place. You know, it's, it's, it replaced something that wasn't happening with something that is, you know, and it's core and, and, and representative of what we did back then. All there was was a lifestyle. Yeah, the thought that we created a category is kind of daunting. There, sh there should have been more, but I think the whole point is not to have to have more. ProLite has a tagline now, it's driven by the journey. It's a, it's a statement that describes every core ad that we did. You know, it was, it was always put yourself there. I like it. I think it's very descriptive of what we started in 1982, it, it's, it's strong.